Hey, it's Dr. Schmidt. I want to go over two stories about chemical poisoning. Uh, both of these are insecticides. And uh, I'm, I'm giving you these stories because they're kind of on the extreme end of what could potentially happen to an individual. And, uh, but chronic long-term exposure can be equally as bad. So the first story is about me. So in the early 90s, I was in college and I would work on the family farm, commercial farm, during the summertime. And there was one summer, um, my dad asked me to drive the uh, water tank um, around the field. So there's a, just a picture of John Deere tractor and then a flatbed trailer behind it with a two ton water tank. And on the back of that is where the chemicals were being mixed for spraying on the fields. Now, and there was another guy, he was driving the big corn sprayer. It looks like a spider going down the fields. It has these booms that spread out. And so I would drive to a field and he would follow me and he would mix the chemicals and spray. And then I would go to the next field and I'd wait for him. And then when he was done spraying the first field, he would meet with me, mix more chemicals and he would spray the next field. So at one of these fields, I did something really stupid. I walked underneath the corn sprayer. Now it was sitting idle and I don't remember if the engine was even on, but one drop fell on my back as I ducked underneath it. One drop of parathion, which is an, an insecticide, fell on my back. Now parathion has since been banned in the United States because it's so deadly. It's we had a neighbor who was also a farmer and he had one drop of parathion fall on his boot. He didn't think anything of it because the boot itself was a thick leather with a steel toe. Well, later, later that night, he was at the dinner table and he just killed over and he was dead. The difference between his exposure and mine was that his parathion was concentrated. Mine was diluted. The dilution is five parts parathion to 200 parts water. So it put me to sleep for 20 minutes, but it didn't kill me. So I'm very thankful for that. It's in, it's in this category called organophosphates. It's a type of chemical structure used in uh, agriculture. It was also used in, um, well, used in warfare. Now, even Hitler, he developed um, organophosphate nerve gas called sarin. And it was so bad, he didn't even use it in World War II. They had lots of it sitting around, but he did not use sarin gas in warfare. Um, so anyways, I told the guy I was with that, hey, that drop, I had a drop fall on my back, what do I do? And he said, take your shirt off, and we had some water, wash the shirt, wash your back. And I did that, and he said, okay, you should be okay now, because he washed it off immediately. So I put my shirt back on, I get back on my tractor, I drive to the next field, and I wait for him. In the meantime, I'm sitting at this field on the tractor, and I fall asleep. Now, I don't sleep during the day, um, typically, and especially in, out in the summertime, uh, I was in my early 20s, there's no naps. And so he arrived then, after he was done spraying, and he, I wake up and I get off the tractor, and I'm walking towards the sprayer, and I feel high. Now, I'm, I've never done drugs, I've never smoked pot, but I know what it feels like, because I felt like I was walking like this, <laughs> Through the, you know, through the dirt to uh, get to the sprayer. Um, now that affected my health up until 2004. And I got into the muscle testing procedure that we do and I was tested uh, for supplements for toxicity. And I started taking a, a product that would detoxify my body. And I had significant improvement in my physical strength and endurance at the gym within two months um, I tripled my uh, push-ups and I doubled my pull-ups. Whereas before that, I, could, I would start doing push-ups and within a few minutes, my body would say, hey, what are you doing? We're trying to get rid of this poison out of your body and you're, ex you're exercising. Like, that's not how it's supposed to be. My body was saying, lay down, let me try to detoxify you because you're sick with uh, an insecticide. So anyways, taking this particular product, it's called Parotid, from standard process. And within two months, I, I, I felt much better. And I, my, like I said, my endurance, my strength went way up. So the next story 
was uh, from a chiropractor. I visited this guy in the Detroit area and he was retiring. He was in his 70s. He had a building that he was trying to sell. He was trying to sell his practice. And um, I was in his office and he told me this story. He said, I'm going to tell you this so that you never do it. So there's this big hornet's nest in his backyard. And he got six bottles of spray, like bug spray, and a, a friend. And they each had two bottles and then two more bottles just in case. So on the count of three, he and his friends started spraying this hornet's nest like this. One, two, three, and they start spraying. And he can't stop now because the hornets are all pissed off. They're going to attack you. So you got to spray until the bottles are completely empty. While he's doing this, he feels the liquid going down his wrist. If you look at your wrist, you, can, you might even see the, the veins are right there on the surface. So now he's being poisoned because one of the cans is leaking down his wrist. Within two weeks, he started getting neurological symptoms. Now, if he were to go to a medical doctor, they would call it Parkinson's or they would call it MS or they would call it whatever. But the point is, his diagnosis is he was poisoned. And I looked up the uh, name of the uh, can. I forgot the name of the product he was using. But I looked up the chemical structure and I think it had bromine in it. So bromine and chlorine and fluorine, those are all poisons. And they all are in the same category. I have a whole video about iodine. They're in the same category as iodine called the halogens. And iodine is super nutritious for the body, but the bromine, chlorine, and fluorine are very poisonous to the body. That's why a tube of toothpaste is uh, dangerous. And if you eat too much of it, you have to call the poison control center because of all the fluoride in it. So anyways, I told them you were poisoned with bromine and the antidote is iodine. So I recommended that he take lots of iodine to detox that out. So, um, and then he said to me, he's looking at my neck and he goes, it looks like your head needs an adjustment. Your neck is off your head, your posture. I said, that's fine. You can adjust me. So I lay down on the table and he puts my head in position and he tries to adjust me. And he had no strength at all, no muscular strength. And he said to me, that was the worst adjustment I've given in my whole career. And that's the effect that he had from being poisoned with an insecticide. So I saw him like a year later at a nutrition seminar and he was so excited because the leader of this nutrition seminar said that Parkinson's and other deep neurological problems often come from an infected tooth or the jaw cap, you know, it's called a cavitation or a cavity. You can have an infection in your jaw and that bacteria there is just spreading. It's so close to the bloodstream. It spreads throughout the whole body. And I thought to myself that you, the, the, the chiropractor and the seminar leader are both idiots because it was bromine. It was the insecticide. He told me the story, but I guess his memory was failing too. That's part of the deal. And he never told the seminar leader that he uh, used an insecticide and got poisoned from it. So if you see, um, you know, you, people, there are people who shake and they're diagnosed with Parkinson's. And you have to think at some point in their life, maybe chronically, or maybe they had a single exposure, maybe it's a poisoning. And if you spray, if let's say you have a whole bunch of ants and you spray them with a raid, this, the ants in the center, they die, they're dead. But the ants around the perimeter, they're on their back and they're flapping, they're shaking. That's because they were poisoned. So I actually have um, one more story, uh, a friend of mine, who he's now in his 70s, but we, when he was in his 30s, he started shaking. At the age of 40 or 41, he had all of his mercury t uh, fillings taken out and the shaking got better. Um, and he's never been through a proper detox program. And now he's shaking so badly that he is embarrassed when he writes checks because his handwriting is so bad. But the point here is that when he was 40, he had his fillings taken out, the shaking improved at that point. Now the mercury is still sitting in his body and it's still destroying nerve tissue. So if you have, if you, you know, have nerve tissue, it looks like this and you place mercury near it, that nerve tissue just shrivels up in real time. It's actually pretty fast. So it can cause uh, memory problems and the, these deep neurological 
uh, conditions that we all want to avoid. So um, yeah, you got to detox your brain. I got videos about that. And you want to detox your central nervous system and we can do this. Oh, I got another story for you. <laughs> so I have a guy who he um, has been a patient of mine for tinnitus. And I put him on the ketogenic diet and he got into ketosis very quickly and the tinnitus was gone. And I only have him on three different products and two of them are for detoxification. And the, the second detoxification product, I just put him on it three weeks ago. And he came back to me last week and he said that um, his, his poop smells more and it's black. And he's got head pain and pressure. And I said, that's great. That is the best news I've heard all day. You are detoxifying. So keep going. So over the course of a few months, the pain and pressure in his head will disappear and the poop will normalize. Now, if I take supplements for heavy, you know, heavy, hardcore detoxification supplements, I don't get any change in my bowel movements, my stool, my urine, nothing changes because my body is clean. All right. And that's part of the deal with detoxification. Um, detoxification improves the health of the person within a few weeks or a, or a couple months you know that something's different. You know that your body's improving. You know you're having detox reactions that lead to better health. Like every two weeks you may feel worse, but when you look back, you say, oh, I'm better now than I was two weeks ago. And you look back, I'm better now than I was two months ago, even though you have, you have these detox reactions. If you feel worse and worse and worse, two, three, six months later, you're not detoxifying. If there's no change in your health, six months later, you're not detoxifying. You're not on the right products. So when you're detoxifying, you could feel worse, but over weeks and months, you know that you're doing better because you have other symptoms that are, get, that are getting better. All right, I just want to spout off on the things I've been thinking about over the weekend and some stories I want to share with you. So if you like this, give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe. And if you're ready to detoxify, we can help you with that. It's best to call the office. You can also email us, but the information is below. All right, take care.